This video is going to contain a lot of mispronunciation. Also, spoiler alert. Also, there's a lot of blood here in this video. So, you know, if you don't like it, then look away now. Well, I mean, like, subscribe and, uh, and you know, watch for at least two minutes. So it registers as a view. Uh, and then, then look away. I think Squid Game is quality. I think it's a classic. It makes you feel the gamut of emotions and leaves you on the edge of your seat as you watch characters you either love, hate, or some you're just ambivalent about all compete against each other as we're constantly confronted with the inevitability all but one will die. This show is one of the greatest shows I've ever seen. It has some of the greatest moments of television I've ever seen. And in those moments, the reason I love them is not particularly because of what's said. Now, I'm not saying Squid Game doesn't have great dialogue. It, it does, probably. It depends how accurate the dubbing or subtitles are. I don't speak Korean. I mean, this could be what they're actually saying. Let's just play some fucking marbles. Anyway, in my opinion, what makes this show is the visuals. And not particularly the production values, you know, which are great. Not particularly the sets, which are also great. And not particularly the two fit Korean female geezers, they're also great. Uh, and the acting is great, the music is great. It's a fantastically made show. But the reason I love this show is for something else. Something I recently found out was called semiotics. Now, I'm not an expert on semiotics. Uh, again, I only just found out what this was recently. Uh, so if you do want to, you know, look into it more, then there's loads of videos and books and stuff. So if you want a, a more detailed explanation, then I'd say, you know, check out some other videos or read some other books about it. Anyway, now semiotics is the field of study of how human beings derive meaning from the world around them through signs. A geezer called Ferdinand de Sousa said that the sign is the result from the association of the signifier and the signified. The signifier is the form that the sign takes, and the signified is what's being conveyed by the sign. This process is called signification. In semiotics, there are three different types of sign, according to some geezer called Charles Sanders Pierce. There is the icon, which directly signifies what it represents by looking very similar to it. For example, this map here is an icon of London, or this is an icon representing justice in the world of football. Ah, good times, good times. The second type of sign is an index. An index's signification is derided through inference or implication, like the sound of an engine revving can imply a vehicle is coming without actually seeing said vehicle. Or like how this signifies my love life without actually seeing them not respond. The third type of sign is a symbol. A symbol is a sign which is not inherently connected to an object, but the connection is taught by society. Like how society tells us that this sign means play, even though this sign itself does nothing to indicate playing or motion. Or like how we learn through society that this sign means you're gonna waste your time. Now let's take a look at some of the greatest moments in this show and how they use semiotics. Right from the start, when we see our protagonist Ji Hoon approach to take part in the Squid Game, he gets handed a card. This, in semiotics, is an example of a symbol, as it has the word Squid Game written on it. Again, I'm, I'm relying on the dubbing to tell me that it could, it could, it could be just the C word on it. I, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I can't read Korean. This is an example of a symbol. And when we see this symbol, no words are needed. We know exactly what the characters have been asked to do, by who, and later we learn the weight of their decision. So they all get taken to this island and are given numbers. Ji Hoon sees an old bloke called Eel Nam, who I'm just going to call old bloke. 
and the old bloke has been given the number one and ji Hoon doesn't see any goalkeeper gloves so he's like ah oh, right it must be because he's the first player to sign up so we see on the board that there's 456 players in this game they're taken through the rules they're told about the cash prize that they'll compete in six games whoever is the last person standing will get the cash prize the first game happens and we see that when you get eliminated you get done in and the contestants are all like oh fuck this is heavy oh what's going on here then we get our first sight of the coffins with a pink bow on them the contestants are told the rules if you stop playing you'll be counted as being eliminated sang Wu tells everyone there's a rule that if the majority of the contestants agree to stop playing then they can actually stop the game and everyone is like, yeah, yeah that, that seems all right, let's do that. You know, I might be able to, to get home for match of the day. Yeah, let, let's stop playing. And uh, they all want to pull out. But then we get shown how much the prize money is. And that every player getting eliminated will add 101 to the prize money. Which is apparently £62,800.92. So they're like, oh, fuck, that's, that's a lot of money. And so some of them are like, well, know yeah, let's give this game a go you know i mean you know and some of them are still like no this is mental people are dying mate i want to go home and so the people who run the game hold a referendum like, like brexit where the contestants can vote if they want to be in the game or out and they decide to go out but then like brexit most of them regret that decision and they're given the option to return and and they all decide to return they all go back to play the game and they start forming groups. We get the nice geezers, the cunts, and some, some other people. So they play another game. More contestants get killed. Uh, the mean bloke, Duke Sue, I'm just gonna call him the mean bloke. He, he gets his end away. Even people in here are getting more action than me. Um, yeah, people keep, keep playing the game. And they receive dinner at the end of the day. And the mean people, oh, I'm just gonna call them, I don't know, team cunts they're eating other geezer's dinners and a geezer complains and the mean bloke kills him and then we get a great bit of semi ikes we see the coffin being carried in for the man to be taken away and then we see the screen with the number of contestants change as a number gets taken away and more money gets added to the prize money this in semi ikes is an example of a symbol and this is how it can be so effective. Because this show has taught us that there's a ruthless nature to this game. And that as a person gets eliminated, 62,800 pounds and 92 pence gets added to the prize money. So without any explanation in the dialogue, because of this use of semiotics, we now learn that contestants won't just get eliminated in the games. We learn that you can increase your chance of winning through murder and this game encourages it and now the whole games change now it becomes tribal by necessity you have to join a group or you'll get murdered now you have to constantly fight for survival even when the games aren't taking place and this is the beauty of semiotics all of this is conveyed with no dialogue being said. So the lights go out, loads of people get murdered, and numbers go down, and they, you know, keep playing games. Now, when we get to the fourth games, the games themselves make use of semiotics, as everyone has to pair up to compete in the next game. However, when they learn what the fourth game is, they learn they're not competing against other pairs, but competing against who they're paired with. And this is one of the most heartbreaking episodes of television I have ever seen. The contest is marbles. Whoever has all of their 10 and their opponent's 10 marbles at the end of the game wins. The only rule is you can't use violence. This in semiotics is an example of a symbol. As the contestant's marbles running out directly signifies how close they are to death. This is used to generate drama in a variety of different ways in this episode, which is absolutely genius. 
Now, unfortunately for Jihoon, his partner has already lost his marbles, as his brain tumor appears to have got more severe and he doesn't realise where he is, meaning Jihoon has to somehow get him to play marbles and beat him before the clock has run out. This results in him tricking the old bloke when the old bloke doesn't remember what numbers he bets. Elsewhere, Sabyuk and Jai Yun S A E hyphen B Y E O K and J I hyphen Y E O N G agree to decide what type of game they want to play at the end of the 30 minutes and just play one round of it. Winner takes all. Instead, deciding to spend the 30 minutes just talking, you know, getting to know each other instead. And this produces some of the most heartbreaking monologues I've ever seen. Both of these geezers are incredible actors. Sangwoo and Abdul Ali compete against each other. And Sangwoo is down to one marble and pleads for his life as his back's up against the wall. And tries to convince Abdul he knows a way for them to not have to compete against each other and both survive. As the game goes on, we find out Sangwoo tricked Abdul by swapping out his bag of marbles for a bag of stones. Elsewhere, Ji Yun intentionally loses the game and sacrifices herself for Si Byuk. And the old man reveals he's been pretending to not know he's being cheated the whole time, but still sacrifices himself for Ji Hun. Then we get the third type of sign in the study of semiotics, the index as each of the three winning contestants walk away and we don't see the losing competitors get shot. We just hear a gunshot, signifying their death. The characters look away as they can't stand to see a person they've made a close connection with get done in. However, I think not seeing it just hearing the gunshot and being left to imagine the action of these characters getting shot in the head might have been more impactful in this show. Great use of semiotics, a great use. And also a great advert for how good marbles is. I mean, look how many gangs they're playing with the marbles. They've got some, some great use out of those, you know. If you don't know what to get for a gift for someone, get them some marbles. I mean, you know, you can have loads of fun with marbles. Look at this. Um, they're playing loads of games with them. Yeah. While this game is great, it's perhaps after it we get my favourite example of semiotics in this show, as Jihun, Sangwoo and Sibyuk are the only three left, and they're all treated to a dinner as a reward for getting to the final. After they finish their dinner, we see they've each been left a knife, and you might think at first, ah oh, these silly bastards, they forgot to take away all the cutlery, but then we see no. This is another symbol, as we're taught throughout the previous episodes, the people who run this game reward murder, and we're also shown the treacherous nature of Sang Wu. As the night goes on, Ji Hoon chats to Si Byuk. As the show's gone on, they've been getting closer, they save each other's lives, you know, they become mates. Ji Hoon learns that Si Byuk has suffered a deep cut and that she's bleeding out, which makes him run to the door and bang on it for help. But the show has taught us that the people running the game don't help people who are suffering. As before, when the bloke got murdered by the mean bloke, the doors only opened not to help him, but to take his dead body away. This in semiotics is an example of a symbol, as we see the coffin with the bow being dragged into the room. Then we get the index sign, as Ji Hoon turns around to see Sang Wu, who's now standing by Si Byuk's body with blood on his shirt holding a knife. And this of course implies he's killed her, without us actually seeing it. He's literally a cutthroat. Semiotics are being used to convey probably my second most heartbreaking moment in television that I've ever seen. It's second only to the 2018 Champions League final. 
<sighs> anyway, just to conclude, the show goes on, Jihoon wins the game, Sangwoo kills himself, it turns out the old bloke pulled a Mark Henry and he was the one organising the game all along, Jihoon sees someone else being handed the card, Jihoon prevents the person from playing the game and takes the card, so he's about to get on the plane to fly to meet his daughter, he calls the number and tells the person, oh you know I've not forgiven you, you know I'm going to sort you out, anyway so that's what happens in the show. This was an incredible show. It's an incredible show for many reasons. But I hope this video has shown you my main reason for loving this show. It's because of its use of semiotics. There you go, last mention of that word, I'm sick of it too. Now here's some signs that matter most to me. So please feel free to like and subscribe.